Hi guys, in this video um, <clears throat> I'm going to show you a real world example of how to uh, move rows of data from one worksheet to another using a, uh, a do while or do until loop. So what I have here is a column with products in it and their status and they're either active or expired and what I want to do is um, I want to move I want to move all these expired rows this one and this one to a different worksheet because I don't like them because they're expired so I want to actually cut the row I want to like cut it and I want to move it to to this expired products worksheet and I'm first thing I want to do is I want to set up my columns so I'm gonna copy these columns over here okay next thing I want to do is I need to know what my macro needs to know the last row on this sheet and I could I could use VBA to do that uh, to do that you know range dot Excel end or end range dot end Excel up I could do that and start at the bottom and and it'll find the last row or we could do something uh, which I think is a good idea and that is go to name manager and open up a new name and I'm gonna name this last cell and what I wanna do here is I'm gonna do um, offset and I'm gonna select a1 then I'm gonna put so what I'm gonna do is count is is offset cell a1 a number of cells and what how many cells well you just count the number of uh, entries in this column and then I'm going to put zero. And that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a parameter. I'm not sure which parameter it is, but it, you could just put zero. And when you click OK, you'll see that when I highlight that, this automatically tells me the last cell. So if I close this and close this, and let's say I write some stuff in here, right? There's some data in here. Well, I, I could just go, I have this range here in the name manager. I now have a range called last cell that automatically tells me the last cell in this column. So that's cool. So I'm going to use that in my macro. And so let me delete this. And now I'm ready to write the macro that is going to cut this row and cut this row. Well, first of all, it's going to loop down this column, right? It's going to use a loop and loop down here. And for every expired, it's going to cut it, cut the whole row and move it over here. So let's see how I do that. Okay, so first thing I want to do is let's see. First thing I want to do is this. It's a very short macro, I think. Yes. So let me just move this over. First thing I want to do is select the product sheet, right? And let's do that so let's start let's just step through this I select the product sheet okay here I am right and actually before that I declared a a variable that's long to start at row 2 okay and I said extra this extra variable is an uh, is, can hold big integer numbers and I assign it the, the number 2 because I know that I'm always gonna start in the second row here I always know that so if I know that, then I could start looping from the second row and the second column. And how do I know the second column? Well, here's the second column. I know that it's going to be the second column, the status column, right? Okay. So let's loop through it. So now I, I created a do until loop. And what is a do until loop? What's the structure of it? Well, the structure is simple. It says do until x row is equal to... Uh, last row plus one well what's last row I don't have that here so let me let me do something here dim last row as long and last row uh, this is going to equal let's see here uh, here we're gonna do is equal to cells 
pros dot counts, comma one, and you've seen this before. All this is doing is in the first column, it's going starting at the bottom of the worksheet and going up until it finds uh, it, until it finds the last used cell. So now I have a last row. So if I step into this, my last row here is, let me put a watch on this. My last row is nine, which is correct, right? Here's my, here's nine, it's my last row. So now I have a loop. I, the structure of the do until is uh, do until x row is equal to last row. Okay? And I put last row plus one because we want to make sure that want to make sure that I, I actually execute the code all the way through row 9 okay so so let's do that watch I'll put expired in the list of the last one so I'm gonna loop from I'm gonna loop from row 1 or row 2 all the way to row 10. And now I could keep stepping through. And here I select, uh, I, I, I am in the cell, I select the cell, and now I have an if statement. The if statement is, if the active cell.txt is expired, then, well, what are we going to do? Then I'm going to, oh, I don't need that. Oh. So then I'm going to select I'm going to select the entire row and I put entire row dot cut and what that does is this it selects the entire row and cutting it is just like what you would do when you cut um, and then I select the expired product sheet okay and now here's where I use that range that I set up with the name manager I, s I select that range this is that range that I set up earlier remember and now I put active sheet dot paste and there it is. I just paste it in this row, right? And then I go selection dot copy, uh, paste special values. So I just paste special values. And then cut copy mode is false, so that will stop this from, you know, uh, doing th doing that. So the the copy co copy mode is false. And now I go back to my product sheet. Okay. And now I loop through again. And you know, last X row now is going to be uh, three here, and I'm going to loop through again. And I select the third one, and it's not expired, so I'm going to keep going, I'm going to keep looping, right? So I there I I found an expired one. I go back to the sheet. I keep doing this. And here's here's the last one, right? Expired. Okay. So it finds that it puts it here. And a couple of what is false. And here, X row now. Um, X row is going to be 11 here. So if I had to watch this just to show you, actually, X row is 10. I'm sorry. And since they're equal, this this do until criteria has been satisfied. So I have ten is equal to ten. So do until ten is equal to ten. So it is equal. So so they are uh, equal, both sides of that equal sign. So now it steps out of that loop, okay? And now uh, that's the end of this macro. So what you have here is a macro that. Ran, ran down this column and, and cut cut entire rows that were expired and pasted them here. And notice that it pasted them in the right order. It didn't overwrite any of them because I used that name manager, right? So, um, let's see. I didn't write anything to delete these rows. And let's see. I could I could easily do that. So let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
active cell. If I do this now, I'm going to try to delete these blank rows. And I'll do selection dot entire row dot delete. Right? Then I'll do x row is equal to x row plus 1. Because we have to do that because you're deleting a row. Let's try this again. I should have wrote that earlier. So now, okay, let's step through this now because I wanted I want to show you that deleting that those blank rows is not is not that bad. So here I'm pasting again, right? But here, here's where I just added. I go back here, and I select that active cell. And now I do this: selection dot entire row dot delete. Well, it did it. It deleted it. Cool, nice. But now I have to add a row because I deleted it. And that you just have to do that. If you don't, um, you're going to be skipping over the next row. And what you could have watched earlier videos to to know that. So now where am I at? Uh, oh, actually it's minus one. I'm sorry. It's actually minus one. Sorry for that. So let's try this again. You have to when you delete a row going from top to bottom, you have to then go x row is equal to x row minus one. And let's do it. Let's stop it real quick. So this one's expired, and now I delete the row. But now what is my next row? It should it should it should go into yes, it stays there, and that it stays there because I did x row x row minus one. So now we can run this all the way through and notice that D will be deleted and let's see what else. F should be deleted. Yep, sure enough, F is deleted. And there you go. If tell is expired then. And notice that it's going to keep um, it's going to keep in this loop until X row is equal to last row. So it, it does keep going. So when you delete rows, it's still gonna go you know, after you delete your rows, it's gonna keep looping until it gets to row nine. But that's your macro that you can use to um, loop down a column and do some criteria and then cut an entire row and move it to this worksheet and move it to that exact cell. Okay guys, uh, remember to go to Excel, VBA SQL.com, lots of uh, free videos. Thanks.